Wow, look at that lampshade. That thing is spectacular. Ooh, sweet. I'm uh, not at home. I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah at the Little America Hotel, the home of that kick-ass lampshade. And uh, I'm down here, I had to come down for a doctor appointment. So I drove down yesterday and I'm heading back home today. Uh, my ear, is doing much better. I had surgery uh, in my middle ear there to replace one of those little tiny bones that vibrates. And uh, it was successful and I can now hear again, which is awesome. So uh, there's, uh, they did the follow-up was to surgery, which was like a month ago. And uh, it's great. So that's all working good. It's very weird being able to hear in stereo again. So I'm getting some weird sensations and stuff, but I'm getting used to it and uh, everything is, uh, as good as could be expected after that kind of surgery. So uh, it's like a 10 hour round trip to come down for like a 30 minute doctor appointment and then spend the night and then drive home. So it's kind of a bummer. It's a lot of driving for not much. So I decided I'm gonna take a bunch of back roads home today and do some photography along the way to kind of make this trip a little bit more fun for me. So I'm gonna drive some back roads up through Utah into Idaho and then into Wyoming and look for uh, some probably landscape opportunities. I don't know that there will be much wildlife out and about, but you never know. We had a nice snowstorm two days ago with a lot of wind, so I'm hopeful that maybe there will be some really nice snowscapes and some like wind-blown snowy stuff. I love that kind of stuff. And uh, so I'm going to take my time driving home and do some photography, mostly just to kind of break up the trip this a uh, lot of driving and uh, turn it into something more fun than just driving 10 hours for a 30 minute doctor visit. And um, so that's it. In the meantime, enjoy one last look at that lampshade. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. So it was way too windy out there. I'm sure the microphone would have been a disaster. I can't really tell what it's going to sound like, but it was pretty windy. So I think I can't really talk out there with the GoPro. I think it'll um, just kill the sound, the wind out there. So anyway, these uh, cool snow patterns out here, just along the side of the road, this, this windblown snow is uh, attractive to me. So I'm going to be looking for more of this kind of stuff, beautiful shapes and textures in the snow. And uh, I think I'm gonna get some decent stuff out of this. I really like this. A nice, beautiful, windy day after a snowstorm, we get this really cool texture and shapes and stuff. It kind of reminds me of the waves I was shooting in Hawaii a little while ago. So uh, I really enjoyed that. And I think this is pretty cool too. So I'm gonna keep moving though here and uh, maybe I'll find a less windy spot where I can talk outside of the car, but I have to do it in here right now because the microphone will just get blasted out there. So let's keep moving. <laughs> just a hiking boot 
sitting on a fence post in, or right outside of, right on the border of, Henry, Idaho. Anybody ever been to Henry, Idaho? Looks pretty sweet. Anyway, back to the road. Well, so far, the most challenging part of photography today is finding a place to get off the road so I can stop and take photos. I'm seeing lots of cool stuff to take pictures of, uh, but the, the roads, the snow is right up, so there's no shoulder. The snow is right up to the white line, and so it's a little tricky. Granted, there's like hardly any traffic out here uh, now that I'm really in the middle of nowhere, uh, but there's just nowhere to pull over. So, you know, the snow's right there to the edge of the road, so anywhere I'm going to pull over is going to be kind of, my car's going to be halfway still in the highway, and I don't like doing that. So, uh, anyway, it's fun out here, just middle of nowhere, all alone, windblown snow, and rural stuff going on, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, see those patterns in the snow? That's what I'm looking for. So, I'm driving slow here. There's no traffic. Forward or behind, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but I am keeping an eye on it as much as I can, and then I'm, I'm just spotting, like, here's a really nice one over there. But I'm going to hop out here and shoot this right out there. Uh, I'm going to grab the 100 to 400 millimeter lens and shoot this. And I got long straight road that way and long straight road that way so I can see if anybody's coming and get out of their way. So I'm going to do that real quick. It looks nice. So this should be pretty easy. I'm, I'm going to go zero on exposure compensation ISO 64 F11 and then I'm going to uh, find the uh, the kind of coolest looking patterns that I can see right there. And it's really cool, nice shadows and everything. I think I like this as a vertical. F11 will give me plenty of depth of field. Check my histogram in the live view finder there. It looks beautiful. Okay, and now I hear a car coming from behind me. So I'm gonna get out of the road. Made a nice shot there. Didn't cause any traffic issues. And back on the road. I'm gonna be looking for more more scenes like that. This is looks like a real honey pot of uh, snow textures. There must have been a howling wind blowing through here. Looks really good. Yay, I found a little side road that got plowed. Definitely no traffic out here. But uh, all this, there's good potential out here for zooming in tight and picking out some of the, uh, the patterns. Ooh, look at these down here. All right, I'm just going to stop and check these out. So right, right here, just off the side of this little road, see those cool textures down in there? Hopefully you can see that all along in here. They're super cool. I think they call that sastrugi. These uh, windblown patterns in the snow. So I'm going to uh, grab my camera with the 100 to 400 millimeter lens so I can uh, kind of extract some, some photos out of this scene. It's, it looks really cool. I like this. And there's no danger here of any traffic jams. I mean... I'm not going to block anybody's path here. So I can uh, spend a few minutes here without the stress of worrying about people. Sweet. I think this will be cool. You 
know what it kind of reminds me of? And I've never been to Antelope Canyon, uh, those cool slot canyons in Arizona, but all that wavy, uh, really striated, is that a word? That really layered uh, wavy effect in those red slot canyons. This kind of has a similar like wavy, really layered texture going on down there. And I think it's really cool. So there's even some like right here that's um, really cool looking. Check this out. Cool, right? Or maybe it's just me, but I think it's pretty cool. I'm having a, having a good time out here. That was fun. That kind, you know, that kind of reminded me, as I mentioned back there, of the, of Antelope Canyon, which I've never visited, but it just kind of had a similar feel with the, the waviness and the layered effect. But it also kind of reminded me of walking around out in the sand dunes um, when I went up to, um, what's that place called in Idaho? Uh, St. Anthony Sand Dunes. Um, it kind of reminded me of that, where wandering around out there looking for cool, interesting patterns and uh, looking for just little little pockets of something interesting to try and extract uh, for a photograph. And uh, I really had a blast doing that. I'll link to that video below here. Um, but that's kind of what it felt like out here. Just looking for little things. Although I'm, I'm not wearing boots. I'd love to get out there and explore more, but I'm just wearing Vans. So I'm not very prepared for some... Uh, off-road snow excursion today but really fun really beautiful love it all right I will call that a successful road trip. Made it back to Jackson and uh, made some photographs today as well. So that worked out great. Uh, I, I'm trying to think of what I, how I would describe today's photography. I think uh, I would call it uh, sastrugi hunting road photography. I don't even know. It's a it's an unknown genre to me. If you have a uh, genre that you know of let me know what it is so most important thing i think was taking a five hour drive and turning it into a six hour road trip with some photography along the way and uh, i think i made some decent photos uh certainly had fun um especially with the uh the sestrugi that uh wind blown snow i think uh, some of those are going to be pretty cool i'm probably going to process those black and white. I'm going to try it both ways because that, that blue light can, can give it some extra feel of, you know, a, a cold blue winter scape. Um, in my mind, I'm thinking black and white might look better, but I'm going to process a couple black and white and see um, which ones I like best. And uh, I'm going to show those to you now. I'll show you some of the photos I made along the way. Um, not all of those will be uh, the blown snow. So I think I did a, a little bit of landscape work and some uh, old buildings and stuff like that. So uh, I hope you enjoy another different thing, different than Hawaii this time, but uh, another fun time doing photography. And for me at least, and hopefully for you, the, the photography, uh, having a good time is what it's about and making some nice images. And um, even if it's like out of your wheelhouse and not what you're used to doing. So uh, anyway, have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Be well. See ya.